Uh, so this video is gonna be about my new discus aquarium. I hope you like it. Uh, I no longer have my 200 gallon planted tank with discus in it, but I have this one. So I hope you like it as much as the last one. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna tell you what to feed your discus. Because the moment you get your discus, it's really important to get them eating. Um, they're kind of fussy eaters, depending where you take them from. You know, if they're bred in local water where you got them, they're less picky. But if you like order them maybe online or they're imports, maybe they fed them something different that you don't have like readily available. So it's really important to get them eating because a discus, if it doesn't eat for like a few weeks or so, its stomach is gonna shrink and then it's pretty much game over, you know? They're just gonna waste away. So you, you have to get them eating and they're fussy eaters. So I'm gonna start with the least recommended foods. Um, well, I'm still using them, you know? <laughs> kind of like in my auto feeder and stuff. Um, like which would be dried foods. And then I'm gonna elaborate on um, freeze dried and frozen foods that you can feed your discus. So right now they're eating some brine shrimp and black worms and tube effect worms. These guys, you actually have to feed them like when they're juveniles, I recommend two to five times a day. And obviously gonna make water change pretty often, uh, but that's gonna be another video. Um, so yeah, you have to get them eating. So one thing I noticed about discus is they prefer their food to be of the color red. I don't know why, but just go for some red food, okay? So the first thing I do feed them, like and most stores will probably feed them, is color bits. That's your color. I don't know if you guys see it properly. Um, it's like granules of red flaked food. Um, it's not actually very good. Like it has, uh, or there's corn, there's soy. It, it, it's it's really actually like not good food. But if that's what the store gave them, starting with that, you know, it, or if you're going on vacation or something, uh, they will accept most most discus will accept this uh, granulated food. It's not recommended like all the time or as your only source of food. Okay, so next food I use for my discus, sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to hold this camera, is the Ocean Nutrition Prime Reef Flakes, okay? You guys see it here? It's kind of hard at the sliding. So they're also red flakes. And um, what do they have inside? I'm trying to show you the ingredients. Um, it's kind of a little bit better than the color bits, okay? So the ingredients uh, are already lots better. It doesn't start with like soy as first ingredient. It starts with plankton, condensed fish protein. I mean, you can read up on it. So prime reef flakes, okay? Um, I just chose the reef version because they're red. So moving on, we have obviously brine shrimp. Uh, this is a hikari, I believe. So yes, hikari brine shrimp. Um, they really enjoy uh, this dry freeze version. Uh, if you don't want to have, I don't know, the frozen version, this is like easier for you or that's the only thing you can find, get them uh, the dried freeze um, brine shrimp. Okay? They also accept a, a little bit less, I don't know, mine like it still, but not all of them. Uh, the tube effect worms, tube effects, tube effects worms. So there's this one, also dry freeze from Hickory. Uh, what else do I feed them in the dry freeze? Now this one is a good one. This is black worms. Uh, I ordered this one on eBay. It's from Canada. Uh, it's just cubes or dry freeze black worms. In stores, I never found them fresh, so that's the next best thing. Um, and they love it. They really eat like three, four cubes a day, seriously. And look at how fat they are. Um, and it's really good for them. So if your discus is not eating, try to get these worms. It's really good. Also, dried freeze. Then a classic blood worms, dried freeze. 
nothing much to elaborate everybody uses them at one point or the other um, all right so once we're done with the dry freeze we go with the frozen formulas this is ocean nutrition discus formula it's red as you can see just proving my theory that they like red food look at <laughs> he looks as the guy in the photo so they they like this food not all of them I have one fish his name is Skeletor and he only eats like brine shrimp or black worms this guy that's why he's so skinny picky bastard so as you see you have a picky bastard like this you have to try all the foods then a classic the brine shrimp uh, frozen version from Hikari love it all of them love it all of them eat it uh, even amazing for your uh, discus fry if you're reading discus uh, very small discus and any discus would love that stuff okay just just do it I don't have the frozen version of the blood worms but frozen blood worms also they love frozen blood worms and I also use the ocean plankton this stuff they really like it also from Hikari also frozen so this is pretty much all the foods that I use for my discus. Like I said, three to five times a day I feed mine. Um, some will say it's a little too much, but there's still only like two and a half inch discus. I know they look kind of big in here, but they gotta eat and they will eat. And the reason why you have to feed your discus so many times, it's not to get them fat, but you don't want to stunt your discus, meaning you know, not allowing them to grow to their full potential because if you stun them, they're gonna have an ugly shape. They're gonna be shaped like a triangle instead of a circle, a disc, discus, get it? So um, yeah, that concludes my video. If you have any questions, just ask below and like the video and share it. Thank you, bye-bye.